Ah, it's a lovely night. I guess it's about close to one o'clock now, I guess. Quarter after one. Right Tide's here. gone out. And we're at Sunnyside. Uh, we weren't doing so good on our end, but the young fella, he uh, called me up and he had, a, he had a bit there. So I went over and ended up getting uh, about half of these. And I just picked up another 16 or 18 on the beach. Dip them up and dip it. Yeah. Yes, sir, that's real nice squids there. So now we're going to hit another beach and call it night and that'll be the second lot now we got that that much today the second lot so yeah that'll be about 75 or 80 squids there roughly hey guys we'll uh, catch you at the next beach good night folks how y'all doing yeah, we're out now with the light baron, the water, looking for squids. Yeah. Seeing if there's any around. My buddy was there the other night there with his young fella. Stayed overnight and he never got none until 2 o'clock in the morning. But never know. A little far in and two o'clock in the morning there. Start squirting on the beach. Yeah you got I don't know what it was, 40, 50 or something. Yeah we're just sitting in with light bar now for a little bit. We don't need a big lot more. Everybody that I works with he landed some in Norris Brook there today. Give me a bucket full. Uh, I think it was 15 meals or something. Oh, I think I'd seen a bat. I'm not sure. They're around them ladder bats. Yeah, so I never know. Blowing a bit tonight, but I'll show you the video there a little clip. Clean them. Hitting them. Yeah, any other guys? I guess the other one now will uh, turn it back on. And we are back. Well, guys, we went to the next beach and we know we picked up three or four, was it? Four or five or something? Something like that. Yeah, we done all right. And uh, got a few out of it. I just uh, took the pip out of them at the beach and cleaned the back, took the backbone out of them there now and the tails off them. And over on this side, now we're uh, skinning them. And what I do with a rubber, a nylon glove. And there we go, and then we give them another wash, and in the freezer they go. Guys, that's our uh, squid video. Hopefully, uh, we might have a meal tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so that's it. We'll uh, check back with you later. Take care, and all the best. Yeah, back again there. I'll show you this pepper for squidding. You just slide this one there down his backbone and pop through his pip and he's in. Great rig. Father used to do, when father was squidding back in the 80s, he used to sell a lot of tubes and that's the rig he made up to take the pips out of him. Tell i show you that. I don't know if I was around Newfoundland quite a bit now and then not many people have. Uh, seen it before but uh yeah if you ever go squidding out of a cold anger anything this one there is out of aluminum and uh works perfect hey guys time to show you that and on with the cleaning 
there you go. I got my squids now baked pretty well. Just turned on the first side there. What I stuffed them in with was this dressing. Bread crumbs, onion, a little bit of melted butter, and savory. A little salt if you need to, but I never bothered salt, so I'm gonna try and put some barbecue sauce on them. There we go. Brush here. Brush away at them. There we go. Now we're going to bake that for five minutes. And then we're going to turn them and do the other side, and then we'll see at the plate. Oh, yeah, they're going to be yummy. This is uh, what squared a lot of them because they do shrink. All these were bigger than this here, and this was the largest one, so they did shrink. Eh? You know, they were like that. So, anyway, we'll get back to you shortly. Here you go, folks. There you go. Stuffed squid barbecue sauce. Mmm. Not too bad. I've tasted cheerier ones. Mm. Oh yeah. Awesome. Chase it down with a bit of Gatorade. Hey guys. Thanks for following along. Hope you liked the video. Sit now. Uh, I cooked them for about 20 minutes. Stuff squid for 20 minutes. They're not too bad. And if you overcook them, they get tougher. And if you uh, so I undercook them a bit, they're not too bad. But you know, no. Take care and all the best.